Dominia was the Greek goddess of agriculture and protected the trees, plants, and grains. Her daughter is mentioned as Persephone, who was abducted by the god Hades, who is not actually a part of the 12 main gods. The god Hades still technically participated in the Tainonomachy, so I will consider him to be one of the main gods, even though he is not actually on Olympus, since he rules the underworld, so he is in the underworld, just like Poseidon. Poseidon is not part of the main 12. Actually, no, I think he is but he's not on Olympus currently because he's underwater right now. Um, I don't know what's happening with that though. During the time period where Persephone was gone with Hades, the meteor halted everything, everything died, and that basically made almost every single human starve to death or something. And so what happened was Hades agreed to let Persephone go because he didn't want to make the underworld very crowded with all the dead people. But at the end of the story, um, he, he asked Persephone to eat a pomegranate seed. And if you eat a pomegranate seed, actually no, if you eat anything in the underworld, you have to stay there forever. But um, Zeus was like, no, 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 let's not do that for all the eternity. So what happened was, they made an agreement where Persephone would stay there for like a small amount of months. And during that month, during those months, um, Demir would go back into like mourning or something. I don't know why, but she would go into like mourning again, like I said, and not, not grow anything causing everything to die, making the season winter. Isn't that interesting? Demeter's um, signature symbol is wheat, barley, mint, or poppies. These, her sacred animals are the serpent, pig, or swine, spotted lizard, or gecko. Isn't, isn't that very cool? I mean, I've never thought of Demeter to be the one for spotted lizard or a gecko. On to the part where I turn her into like a real life living day person, not as a god, just a regular person. What I think her possible jobs would be was a florist, naturalist, or a farm manager. I chose these jobs due to the fact that Demeter is the goddess of agriculture, and those jobs go very well with agriculture. Originally, I was gonna do something completely different, make her like. I don't know, a writer, but I don't think that would fit her because she's the goddess of agriculture. Again, she has nothing to do with writing, honestly. One of the things I really enjoyed drawing about Demeter was, like, her hair. Because, technically, people think that her hair is supposed to be a golden color. So, what I did, I, I did, like, a dirty blonde. And at the bottom, like, a lighter actual blonde. I thought it would look really nice with that, honestly. Because those colors do go very well together. It did not take as much as time as I should have done to create this. But I thought it looked nice either way, the way it went out. Um, you can see here that I was blending the light sources. I don't really know what the light source was. I think it was just like to be fun, pop, pop out. I don't know. I didn't really spend enough time on the hair. I kind of regret that. No, I was just doing things for the thumbnail, so you can just all ignore that. Please, please, please. I do think it turned out nice, though. Mm -hmm.